Yo, what's good, YouTube, bro? It's your y'all here, and I'm back again with another banger. Yo, bro, we got some boxing today, bro. As y'all can see, bro, I'm boxing, bro. This is me versus Rod Ting. Psych, nah, hell nah, I would never do that, bro. Never, 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 never. I don't know. For a meal, take the risk. But you like, subscribe, if you do like, subscribe, you enjoy, bro. We about to jump shit into this most untouchable fighter, bro. Yo, this is about to get real crazy, bro. Let's, let's jump straight into this, bro. Easy. I got my, and I got my eat. Damn. Damn. Frisbee, Why we admire someone who gives it their all? Someone who never gives up? Okay. We worship those who make the hardest fighters look foolish. This is the rarest okay. type of fighter who can make fighting champions look so easy. Okay. Even when they're giving it their all. Yo, bro, At do peak I... mastery in fighting, How do see... that's what grab... <coughs> How, do they... <coughs> How do they see every punch coming, bro? Which is hard as hell. Fighting at Damn. any level is insanely hard. Oh, wow. But you wouldn't ever think so by watching this man. Oh, wow. Also known as the Mayweather of Muay Thai, this is a fighter who went 100 0 once upon a time in his career. Nah, I mean, dude, don't hurt. Fight fans, welcome back to another episode of Striking Breakdowns. Uh -huh. yeah. In this episode, we explore the art of effortless fighting by the most evasive legend in fighting history. This oh, is a man shit. who can flow Good thing and crash. That. He is like Muay Thai. Damn. His name, Lerd Silla. Witnessing Lerd Silla effortlessly dodging strikes, it's easy to learn. Witnessing Lerd Silla effortlessly Lord dodging Silla. strikes, it's easy to notice that this is a man who mastered Ultra Instinct. Damn. It's easy to mistake him as the fastest Damn. fighter in Muay Thai and kickboxing. But that is simply not true. So low I down. Hypothetically, someone can ask him, How are you moving so fast? Lerdzilla would reply, I'm not moving faster than you. Damn. I'm just moving before you do. Damn. You see, speed is only a part of what you're seeing here. The fact I can lie, bro, they need to put this dude in a ninja turtle is Lerdzilla can read attacks before they even happen. What the fuck? Not physically faster than his opponents, but his fight IQ is light years ahead. In all of these clips, he is almost 40 years old. If we judge the fight by... Damn, yo, he 40? Bro, look. 19! In athleticism, his opponents would beat him. But great masters of striking can anticipate and see a punch or kick before it comes anywhere near him. This is how he can look so effortless when evading strikes. If Lerdzilla is never in any actual danger, okay. in his mind and in reality, he simply won't feel or show any fear. This is how he looks so calm when he's under the heat of battle. Yeah, nah, he, he is nice and relaxed, you I ain't gonna lie. Take this incredible chip yeah. as an example. In this sequence, Lerdzilla has his hands down as he's pressuring his opponent against the ropes. He's purposely not attacking in order to invite an attack. Okay. The moment his opponent attacks, he leans back perfectly, just an inch out of range. Then he looks at him with absolute calm, knowing exactly what his opponent would do next, which was a low kick. Anticipating the kick and checking it perfectly in time, okay. let's like a superhero bro. Shin with his knee. This took him- Bro, like a fighting superhero, bro. He didn't even look at that kick, bro. No cap. No effort. And with only defense, he was able to damage his opponent. Just let that sink in for a yeah. second. Only true masters of baiting can pull this off. They can tease an opponent Yo, why do you got gloves? Making you them got thirsty gloves. for an attack. Wait, wait, and then gloves make fools out of them. At the highest level, fighters like Samar even pretend to be yeah, hurt yeah. in order to invite a charge and land a knockdown. In another Still fight great. against one of China's I ain't gonna lie, he bought me with that one. I'm gonna take that. I'm Jerry that. Sander and Muay Thai champion. Lerdzilla makes him ask, What the hell am I even doing here? No other fighter has been able to just plant their leg on their opponent's leg like this. The opponent has no counters for it because Lerdzilla would be able to react to all of his movements. This level of control is only possible yeah. when a fighter knows all of the options available. When he has absolute control, 
he can use silly attacks like this to confuse and rest at the same time. All the while, so you're here ahead of the game, y'all. That There's nothing thing. his opponent can do here except to get played with. If he tries to grab the leg, he will get punched. If he tries to kick, he will get pushed away. Damn. If he doesn't do anything, he'll just get attacked. He's simply yeah. out of options. The art Dude, of effortless wow. fighting is possible when all the options and outcomes are controlled. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Yo, I need him at security ASAP, y'all. Like, I'm, what's his number, bro? Against his opponents, Bloodzilla controls the range, the rhythm, and the engagements. Look, he tired, bro. Like, I'm not about to keep chasing him. What the fuck? Nigga, I strongly disagree after that. Just disrupting my bid. In the next sequence, Lodzilla blitzes in to control the punches and land a body kick. The yeah. opponent was able to catch the kick after it landed, and him. he thought he had an opportunity to land a high kick because of it. However, Lodzilla simply wanted him to throw the high kick and was never in any real danger. He ducked the high kick with ease as it came, all the while on one leg. Yeah. Right after the dodge, he stood back up with swagger, and his opponent couldn't help but smile and marvel yeah. at his opponent's brilliance. Lodzilla finally smiled back, and that's when his opponent struck. When he did, he again leaned back with ease and continued his swagger while walking down his opponent. These type of sequences happen all the time throughout Lodzilla's career. Yeah. But perhaps nah, he's the smooth, most impressive yeah. fights Lodzilla like, had were against into Chinese this. champions. I can't even tell you against the Sander yeah. champion, Jiang Hui. He was yeah. able to chill on the ropes and push kick the opponent away. He not only kicked him once, but Lodzilla kept hurt. the foot on his opponent's belly as he tried to continue coming in. By keeping the leg there, he was able to push him away twice in one second. This level of control had the opponent impressed, and he acknowledged it right away. By the third round, okay. after outclassing his opponent for the entire time, Lodzilla was putting out his tongue to taunt the opponent and getting him to throw big combinations. The hands were completely down because Lodzilla wanted the opponent to keep punching okay. him. He wanted the punch to get really close to hitting and move out of the way in the very last second. He got his tongue hit it. Damn. I mean, just look at how the ladies are so impressed in the back. Yeah, nah, he get... If he could do... He get all the hoes, I ain't gonna lie. They like, yo, nah. Why wouldn't you? She's smiling. We hear that Lodzilla is loved by all the ladies in China. Yeah. What we find the most amazing is that Lodzilla simply sees fighting as a game. It's just fun and enjoyable for him to fight like this. If he falls serious, he could finish many opponents with ease. But he would rather entertain the crowd and enjoy the process by doing things that no one else has been able Damn. to do. Lerdzilla doesn't actually care about winning or losing. He just wants to enjoy himself. Damn. Damn. In psychology, this is called being outcome independent. I like my nigga that's high, they call me ill. When I fight half of the game, I don't think about winning and losing or winning. Okay? That's why I have fun with the game. I like to play Ironically, the game. research shows that people are able to perform the best when they are outcome independent. Okay. Science has shown that people with this mindset are able easily to enter high states of flow. And that's exactly what okay. Lodzilla is 100% okay. of the time. He is like water. He flows. That boy is smooth and like water. Crashes. What do you think of this epic showcase of effortless Damn. fighting? We personally yeah. love that Lodzilla can make it all fun, look so bro. easy and not really care about the winning doing or losing. What's up, y'all? What y'all think? If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to watch another episode of Striking Breakdowns. I'm Lawrence Kenshin, and thank you for keeping our channel alive. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Damn. Bro, nice as hell. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, nah, he nice as hell. I'm not gonna cap. Like, bro is nice as hell, bro. No cap, yo. Rod Tang, man, yo. My opera dude, he ain't gonna lie, he gonna go crazy, bro. Yo, but like, some, like I'm, wait, what? Like, I'm sorry if you left, some of you enjoy, bro. I'm not gonna lie, Rod Tang is very nice, bro. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Kind of scares me, y'all. No cap, bro. I don't fear a lot, but Rod Tang, he's like, like, resilient.
I don't know. It's hard to explain, bro. He go crazy, bro. But comment new reactions down below. Anything y'all want to react to? Thailand, anywhere, US, anywhere. Uh, fucking Australia. Let me know, bro. We gonna we gonna go crazy on there, bro. You already know. Best reactor out, bro. And hey, yo.